Hello everyone, welcome to Unreal Engine 4 Beginners Tutorial. We are making a dungeon crawler game and in our last video we finished up with the AI. And <clears throat> in today's video we will be looking at our combat system. So before that let's remove the debug lines that we have. If I'm not wrong, it should be in the player controller where we damage them. So let's see, Clo damage closest enemy. Yeah, it's here. So we'll remove that and also we'll go to widgets, player HUD, and we will remove this binding and make sure this is hidden. <coughs> now, um, Let's remove these AIs because we'll be working on the combat system and we want to be like left in peace while we are working and checking our combat. Right now we can just, yeah, if we, actually that's a lot of time we have for our combat. So let's see. Let's just do it directly from here and on completed we'll do this. We don't even need to check if animation montage is playing or not. So I'll go over here like this and so it resets when the animation itself completes. So as you can see it completes and then it completes and then if we place it again it will play the first one now if you can if you keep on spamming it will go for the combos just like that and <clears throat> now we'll do something else as well so from this one like let's bring it over here in front so from here we want to do something like Usually we do a basic attack, but if we, let's say, time something correctly, then we play another montage. Uh, so let's go with that first. So for that, let's open up our character folder animations. We will make, we will duplicate this one and we'll call it so attack uh, special attack okay and <clears throat> let's go over here mm. let's see let's see we have combos, right? This is combo 2 so combo 2 is basically part of these things specifically dynamic anime set so 12 as you can see this one so <coughs> let's do something mm. start with let's start with 12 okay let's start with 12 make sure root motion is enabled and this one is any first frame save 
now let's go mm. now let's see um yeah what we should be doing is making some animation notify so under blueprints under all classes type in anim notify and click on the anim notify state we'll call it an ans underscore can do special attack so over here i'll make a folder call it montages and make sure all these montages go over here and i'll make another folder i'll call it anim notify states and i'll put it over here and let's open this one up and let's override the begin and override the end now <clears throat> what we'd want to do is make a new variable over here and let's call it b can do special okay so from here we'll get the mesh component from here we'll get get layer controller then we will do set can um can oh right uh, i need to cast cast to bp player controller and then set can do special i'll set it to true over here and plug that in like this this is our sorry it would be false this is our end in the begin we'll do the same thing make it true and mesh component to world context object so that's set so let's see if this fires okay so let's go where's event tick over here it is so let's print it at every tick and <clears throat> let's go to the montages and in special not special attack sorry in sword attack one we will add in a uh, insert notify track and then can do special this would be in front we'll be doing it for two of these so we would have a time of 30 seconds um now let's see also yeah that is done so now let's go it's false yeah as you can see it's true for some time which is correct so that's what we need so it works our anim notify works so let's go back to our player controller and over here i would like to do a branch and see if can do special is true or not if it is true i <clears throat> want to get my character let's play montage um I need to get the mesh get the mesh play montage and the montage to play would be the special one and on completed we'll have the same things that we have over here so am is playing is set to be false so <coughs> we will do that over here on blend out and also um, combat combo count will set it to zero okay so let's see now and also let's 
go to our special attack and over here let's add in our attack 12 was it right so let's see and also we'll do something over here <coughs> since we are learning and name notify I will call in another one let's duplicate this so ANS I'll call it special damage okay and notify begin and end from here I will um let's see in our player controller we have the basic um damage closest enemy okay we have damage closest enemy so let's do that uh let's call that um, or was it special okay yeah okay two um not two damage closest enemy just like that and plug this in in the notify begin and we'll do the same thing in the end as well <coughs> so what it would do in the beginning he would damage and also at the end he will damage and this is i'm doing because there are two yeah two swords see attacks so i want it to be happen it at two frames so this is one so I will call in our special damage so this is where he should call the damage and this is the another part where he should call and that's where he will call the end part okay now let's go and check that right um, also let's go back I forgot the important thing so if it is true it will automatically do that so we don't want that what we want is we want to see if was input key just pressed if it was pressed then only we want to do it and I will keep it at left mouse so <clears throat> by now if I'm to attack I'll do the normal as you can see I'm doing the normal but now if I'm to click it twice you can see I'm doing my special which is good but we also want to do different kind of things from these let's say this is just if I'm to press the attack button twice I'll do the special attack for this also I want to do something special when I let's say press another button if I want to do something else so we'll all of these will be done in the same logic more or less so I will collapse this to a macro and this one would be called special attack so over here we are considering our special attack in the macro and why I did in a macro was because <coughs> and uh, this is the true output and this is the false one okay so this is from the false so from the false let's say I want to check for another thing let's say if the special attack was done let's say the special attack was done mm, 
as blended out actually yeah we don't want to do anything from the true as it is so leave that one out we'll be only doing it from the false so we can check for another thing let's say if the we'll do almost the same thing okay let's take this control c and control v um sorry delete this and from here and from here let's do another Mm. <coughs> mm, animation montages what is the special this one so this would be air attack okay if I'm not wrong uh, was it 13 16 nope 17 18 9 8 ah uh, never mind let's go with this okay so Let's call in the places where he should. Actually, let's yeah make these like copy this and paste it. We need few of these over here. has to start from here mm, he comes <coughs> actually you know what for this attack especially for this attack Mm, I have to make a new notify this one would be spin damage so over here instead of having this on the begin and the end I'll delete this too and I'll get the tick and on the tick I'll do the damage so <coughs> Damage closest anyway. We'll have different kind of these calls. This is only the damage closest one, but we'll later on we'll have different kind of attacks um, for different uh, animations and stuff like that. Okay, so don't worry about those. Uh, for now, let's just learn what we can do and how we can do those things. So on the tick, uh, we'll do this. So this is the spin damage. So in our special damage and montage, I closed it probably. Montages, uh, air attack, and I will add in the spin damage. So so from here, from here around. from here on around okay like this yeah let's just close it over here so I'll do the damages over here okay so now it's done and also make sure open up 13 make sure enable root motion and, and first frame is true close that and um, Let's go to the player controller and over here this one would be the air and over here instead now let's have it on E 
okay so compile and let's play see <coughs> we can do damages like this or we can have like this so it's totally up to you how you want it to be so on different kind of attacks and uh, you play different kind of animations so now this is the sim simple um, sorry Yeah, um, this is norm the normal combat. So if you press one, then it ends almost at the end. You are trying to attack, but now if you spam it, it will play this one. And now if you are to left mouse and E, then you play this. So let's have uh, AI over here. Let's not not just one. Let's have two, three. AI is over here to see how it looks. Let's have three of these. There we go. which is really good so all of this is working as you can see we do spin damage and other stuff as well so that is good um, also <coughs> yeah uh, I think I would leave it at this today and in our next video we will look at some other things for our combat as well Uh, also, let's try one more thing before we go and that would be in the character animations and montages. Let's go on the special attack and what we want to do is even at, uh, at the very end, we can <coughs> also do the... Give me a second. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, it bugged out for me the engine so I had to restart so <coughs> yeah uh, not the air one sorry the special one let's get, let's get in and over here at the very end we would like to have the can do special for the last three so it would be mm, 20 seconds probably so <clears throat> let's see let's go in over there yeah as you can see after the end we can make it to a combo and then <clears throat> if we time it right we can do the spin attack after our special attack so this way we can make combos so that makes it actually a lot easier to kill our AI. So we would also tweak our AIs a bit more since we have this kind of attacks now and combos that is almost also there's a thing I noticed um, that is you can move while doing this so I don't want the um, <clears throat> player to move so let's see our first I'll check this one usually the yeah if you enable root motion and first frame 
then they usually do not um, move while mm, also Yeah, now I'm trying to move and I cannot move. Also, in the third attack, I can move. So let's check this one attack AT, ATK underscore sword 03. Let's check this one. Yeah, make sure enable root motion is set to true. And all of these things, when they are enabled, you shouldn't be enabled. Uh, you should not be moving. Oh my God! Wow, there's a bug right there. So we'll fix it later on. Don't worry. So yeah, we cannot move at either of these animations. Yeah, we cannot move in either of those. So <clears throat> that would be it for today's videos guys. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial and if you enjoyed it if you learned something from it please leave a like and subscribe to my channel because that really helps me a lot thank you guys and i will see you in the next one